Hi friends, welcome to Expert IT Tutorials. Today we are going to discuss about SCRI, which is also called as Encryo UI Spy. So today's agenda is introduction to SCRI, how to download and how to install this SCRI, and what are the different features of this SCRI plugin, and how to use this SCRI. Let's get started. Introduction to Escri and Creo UI Spy. Escri is a free plugin for Chrome web browser. It is developed by an organization in India called Red Ponds. So this tool helps automation testers and developers. And also this tool generates XPath and CSS for HTML elements. Now let's see how to download and install this plugin. Open the web store in Chrome browser and search for Escri. Click on Add to Chrome, then click on Add extension. Let us see in live how do we do this. So I open a Google Chrome browser, search for Chrome web store in Google so you can just open the first link Chrome web store then here we can search for the plugin Escri so here is the Escri which is developed by Redpons here just click on add to Chrome so you can see a pop-up coming up here click on add extension so once you add the extension, you will receive a confirmation saying that Escri has added to Chrome and also you can see in the extensions it's being added. You can see a small icon, a chest spawn icon here as well. Now let's see how to proceed further. Features of Escri. So it generates the XPath and CSS for HTML elements which is useful for automation testers. It also allows us to write our own XPath or CSS selector and test them. It can also highlight the web elements. And finally, it can also export these locators to CSV and JSON formatted files. Now, let us see how to use this Escri. Usage of Escri. Open the Chrome browser and navigate to the desired application. So today I would be testing on facebook.com. Next, go to inspect element console. You can use either F12 key or you can use the shortcut key as control, shift and I. Also, you can right click on any web page and you can select inspect. Now, in the console, inspect element console, you can see a tab called Escri. So click on that then you have to choose either xpath selector or a css selector once it is done right click on the web element to generate the xpath and css selector you need to give a name and click on ok then it would show up in the escri plugin then you can also test the elements by highlighting the objects and once all the objects are done you can export the elements to csv or JSON files. So now let us see this in live. Okay, let's open facebook.com. It's up to you. You can open any web application. So I have opened facebook.com. Now I will try to identify this email and this password fields. So now I am pressing F12. Okay, so bottom you can see this developer tools or the inspect elements. So here you can see a tab called Escri. Click on that. You can select either XPath or CSS selector. So let me select XPath for first. Here you can see the information. Right click on any element to spy. So now I wanted this email or phone field to be captured. So I am right clicking there. Soon you can see a pop up coming up to enter the name. So I am naming this one as username and click on OK. So now you can see the entry has been come in this Escri tool. The name is username, 
and this is the UI identifier. So this is an X path. You can see type is equal to X path, and uh, so you can see one matching nodes for this X path. Okay, so it automatically highlights this. You can even click test also to highlight that. Now you can write your own X path. See here, I see at the name is equal to email, right? So let me try in a different way. I write my own X path as input at the rate name is equal to email okay click on test now you can click on test now go for css selector and right click on this password give the name as pass or something just click okay you can see below has it has come up okay it's a css selector number of matching nodes is one now you can click on test so it automatically highlights which element it is okay you can use this test button to highlight your elements and also write your own x path or write your own css to identify your elements so now once you have identified all your elements you can export them to csv or json so i can click on export to csv you can see a csv file is been downloaded just open that you can see all the name the UI identifier, the XPath or CSS, and what is the type XPath and CSS, and how many matching nodes. So that's it for today. Hope you will be using Scree. And one more disadvantage of this Scree tool is you cannot see the HTML code. Thanks for watching my video.